Hey guys, White Manga here with a new video on how to draw characters consistently looking the same. So that's like drawing the same character over and over without, you know, um, it looking different in whatever scene. So if you're doing a comic and having a character look different from time to time, that's not what we're working on. That's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about uh, creating a character. And if you're making a comic, you're drawing this character over and over, and the character keeps looking, you know, the same, so it's consistent. And you don't have cases where the character might look one way here, and the character looks completely different on the other side of things. For this video, uh, we're going to be using a character as a model. Here we have Caesar, and this is uh, uh, one of the new characters from Volume 2. And... Uh, yeah, these are some scenes from Volume 2 showing Caesar, and I'm going to use Caesar an example, as an example for this video. So here, uh, starting off, I like to say that to completely understand uh, what I'm about to do uh, a whole lot more uh, effectively, I have two videos that kind of explain or go into detail on how to develop your style and how to define your style. Now, it would help if you watched those videos already. Um, you don't necessarily have to, uh, but it would really, it would really help you understand what I'm about to do. So basically, when you want to draw a character over and over, uh, you kind of have to think of everything in layers. Almost think of the character as an avatar, and you're placing little things here and there that will always be there. Uh, to make the character look the same. Like, for instance, you have Naruto and the three marks on his face, the blonde hair, blue eyes, and the headband. Once you do that, even if the character doesn't look exa exactly the same, someone will see that and still know you were at least trying to draw Naruto. So it's almost like picking apart the iconography of a character and keeping it the same throughout. So here we have, you know, the X shape. And so automatically, Caesar is always going to have that, you know, this shape of head so you know we have the cross around the face and we're adding in the ears that are at the ends of the horizontal line for the uh, uh, cross on the face it's kind of like a little guideline um, that, that can help you when you're drawing um, drawing character faces drawing manga faces or you know faces in general so here it's kind of like egg shape and at the bottom it, it's um, Caesar is like a young character, but he's not he's not too young, but you know a little young maybe We're thinking maybe uh, almost 18, you know 17. Let's just say let's say 16 17, right? Uh, the age is kind of undefined for that at this, at this point, but uh, You kind of want to understand your style. This is where I talk about you know defining your style and knowing certain things to use that define um, they, you know get his features down so the eyes they've been drawn here for Caesar I know these kind of eyes now not every character in Apple Black has these kind of eyes but um, certain characters might have these kind of eyes and maybe they'll, they'll have the same shape that we had that Caesar has here but maybe they'll have a different uh, uh, pupil or iris or something like that and um, I've gone over stuff like this again. This is where that all those other videos have come in handy. But here we he has the, these kind of eyes, so I want to be consistent. And since I've defined my style enough, I know how to draw these the the sh at least the shape of this eye and th these kind of eyes any day of the week. So I know that Caesar has these kind of eyes no matter what, right? And then we put that together. And part of his iconography is that hat, and that hat kind of symbolizes some almost like a chieftaincy kind of title uh like um from where he's from it's kind of like royalty uh but we'll get into that again as part of his part of his iconography here we're drawing in the drawing the mouth again i draw mouth so many ways in my style but uh i know that uh caesar has a particular kind of mouth and again someone else might have a similar kind of mouth but we know that Caesar has this has the same kind of mouth as well. So sometimes I might just have like that little line at the top of the lip, in the, indicating the upper lip. But uh, for Caesar here, he, it, the line kind of goes throughout the whole lip. So it 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 uh, it goes and meets both and like all the ends of the the mouth and there are different ways I draw mouth as you can see I'm giving a little uh, some examples here it depends on the character so like you kind of almost have to recognize what mouth type 
I have you've given Caesar and be consistent right because you're the one designing in this case I'm the one that who designed this character so I know the kind of mouth I gave Caesar uh, that is within my style um, and I'm just going to be consistent with that right so when you're defining your style you kind of have so many ways you draw maybe an eye right like not every character is going to have the same kind of eye right this is like apparent in almost any 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 series you're a fan of like just go look at it not everybody's drawn the same way so you kind of have to look in your arsenal your style bank in a way and look how look at all the ways you draw eyes and you can always mix and match right you like i said you can have the eye can have the same shape but then you can um maybe take that shape but have a different eye uh, different pupil maybe here you see his eyes have a little more life to them but let's say i might want to take the same shape but i could have had his eyes be his, his pupil just be like a black dot uh, similar to similar to a mikhail that uh, that's also in the that's also in apple black but um here another thing of his iconography that you you want to like keep track of the iconography and what i mean by that is kind of like the things that kind of make the character the character again using naruto an example would be part of the uh, the three marks uh three scars slash marks or whatever they are on his face uh and here you see that caesar has this symbol on his left cheek right so again you want to keep those things and those things kind of make it easier for readers to recognize the character when they see them and here you have he has like hair kind of falling uh, uh, on uh, falling on the right side of his face again he has this fluffy kind of hair uh, you also have keep keep uh, mind of that it's not like spiky hair it's kind of like you know fluffy all over the place a little flamboyant not too much but a little bit and you're just keeping track of all the things that make Caesar Caesar Another thing would be the the style of his eyebrows, right? Similar to how I draw anything, uh, similar to the eyes, I draw eyebrows in so many ways. As every, like characters have different kinds of eyebrows. Sometimes they might have similar eyebrows, but maybe one thing that might uh, make character A's eyebrow different from the other, even though it's the same shape, might be color. Color is another thing that taken uh, keep into keep keep track of uh, the color of the eyes. Like I might have a character that has the exact same type of uh, Caesar's eyes but color would be the difference and not just maybe the pupil or anything like that um, or color of the pupil and things like that uh, also again you, you keep track of how uh, you keep track of everything in all the things that make your style your style so here also another thing to keep track here with Caesar is that his eyebrow is kind of far uh, far apart from his eyes right uh, this will be very different from, say, uh, Ryuzaki, Ryuzaki or Ruby when he's angry and how the the eyebrow might be really close to his eyes, right? Here, you, uh, Caesar can sometimes have this uninterested look or very calm, just relaxed look, and his eyebrows are really high. It's almost like he's, you know, he's, uh, halfway, you can, you can say uninterested, but sometimes... Uh, unimpressed you know as you can see in the other drawing I had the footage of that drawing and it just got uh, it got the I, I thought I was recording but I wasn't recording and I'm gonna do something here where I'm gonna draw this character again so I'm gonna draw him again but I'm not gonna look right so I'm gonna keep track of the same things I might give him a different uh, expression right and that's one thing when you understand when you've defined your style to where you've drawn so many eyes in so many ways you can remember them and you can mix and match the shapes and you know little things here and there to make each character different but you or each eye different each nose different each mouth uh, you define your style enough to where um, you define your style enough to where you can play around with it and uh, have characters in different expressions and still look the same, right? So here, the same thing, you draw that egg shape, uh, uh, the, the, the chin is kind of like a little thin and uh, smooth, it's not too defined, the chin is not too defined, and um, the eye, we're going to give it the same shape again. So it's almost like 
forget about everything else. You're thinking of the character in layers, right? So you can just decide to master how to draw that shape for that, draw that eye perfectly so you can, you know, recreate that in your sleep. Basically, it's it, it becomes much easier to, excuse me, it becomes much easier to redraw the same character over and over again if you've mastered your style, if you know what you're doing. Again, don't be afraid of the eraser. Sometimes you might need to erase. That's just the way it is. Uh, again, I'm completely, I'm not looking at uh, the previous drawings here. So I'm just drawing with the same with the same goal in mind to draw the same character and here we're doing it a little simpler because we're kind of having the same even though we might have a different expression every now and then we're kind of drawing the same character drawing the character drawing caesar um in the same angle in the same simple shot of him just looking at you um and uh, i'll kind of elaborate on that a little more here we're putting the scar don't f or not the scar the symbol don't forget the symbol it's kind of like uh it represents his uh, heritage and you know where he's from and things like that um, that's one thing with me most times when I put anything on characters face like a scar there's always a story behind it and uh, kind of adds some depth to the character so here the same thing is same iconography we know that we, we know that the hair is all fluffy there uh, it falls on the right side of his face uh, we know the shape of his eye, we know the shape of his nose, we know what kind of mouth, we know what kind of nose, eye, eyebrow, the distance between the eyebrows, the facial features, the facial features in your style. You kind of like master it and I go into a, a whole lot more detail in the um, how to define your art style video. And uh, if you watch the how to develop your art style, that's also a video that you know might come in handy for if, if you're interested. Here, instead, we're going to have him looking down. Again, this is kind of like a, from a simple angle, and this is not the same thing as say maybe drawing the character from, from uh, you know, in like a character sheet format where you're drawing him, drawing him left, drawing him from front, like a front view, profile view, side view, uh, and a three quarters view. Uh, I have a video on that, and you can use that technique where you you drawing him on the same height and everything, where you have lines kind of helping you and guiding you to make sure you're drawing the character almost exactly the same from a, a giving that three-dimensional aspect to it seeing the same character from each angle but that's not what we're doing here we're trying to I'm trying to kind of teach on just how to draw it off the fly like draw the character the same way over and over again with with you know not not guidelines helping you but just drawing it off the top of your head you know, a lot of memory and patience comes into comes into this, and you know, it helps over time. Also, another thing that I keep track of is obviously the ethnicity of the character. So in this case, uh, Caesar is a character of color, so we have that to, you know, you don't want the character black in one scene and then he's white in the other, obviously. So that's also part of it. And if you notice, I play around with his teeth because he actually he actually has sharp teeth. Uh, so I'm gonna you know it's one of the things I actually forgot, and uh, I'll put that in the uh, in the other videos uh, in the other drawings as well, eventually, in his teeth. So it's the same character over and over again. And one thing to keep in mind is even you kind of just want it to where the reader readers or viewers understand what you're doing you're never actually going to draw a character hundred percent again the same way it's like it's never hundred percent but you can always come really really close Uh, eventually what I'll then do after this is going to I'm gonna draw the character from a completely different angle a more dynamic angle and le uh, less straightforward like the three that have been drawn here uh, so I'm basically gonna do something that is uh, different from the rest and you can see by the, I, when I apply the same principles right the character is going to look the same it's gonna look like it's the same character and that's the whole goal of this video
like a partial ant's eye view. Not not completely ant's eye, but like, well, still ant's eye, but like it, it, viewing from below. But it's not like it's not that crazy dynamic. But we're you know we're going to be looking at the character. We're going to be looking at Caesar from below a little bit, and he's going to be looking up. Again, you have the yeah, you know, putting in the shape of the shape of the head, adding in the ears, and having that horizontal line to kind of guide me uh, as to how the eyes are going to be. And as you can see, the horizontal line is kind of curved, like a frowny face. I go into a whole lot more detail uh, in my videos that um, explain drawing a character from an ant eye view, and you understand why the the line is kind of like in a frowny face because this is uh, ant eye view. So, in the complete opposite is for a bird's eye view, where uh, the the line would be more of a smiley face kind of thing. Uh, if you if that is if you're looking from a uh, for looking from above in a bird's eye view. So here, we're drawing the eye on the left of our view, and um, obviously it's going to be smaller because his 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 face is kind of like turned, so we kind of wouldn't see all of the you know all of his right eye which is you know from our left uh, so here putting in the nose and I'll put the rest of his features um, keeping in mind where they are so in this case right I know what kind of nose I've chosen right for for Caesar right and but we're now we're drawing it in a different angle so this is part of what I mean when you need to define your style so whatever nose it is you need to be able to draw that particular nose from every angle, right? So and it also helps keep things a whole lot more, you know, consistent. And so the mouth that I've chosen, I need to be able to draw that mouth from every angle. Whatever mouth you've created, you need to learn to draw it from every angle. And when you, during the phase of you trying to define your style, the same goes for ears. The, during the phase where you're trying to def define your style, that's where all these things come in handy. Again, you can watch that video, and I'll go into uh, I go into more detail with that. So here is the same mouth, but it's going to be a bit different just because we're going um, just because we are drawing it from a different angle. Uh, here in this phase, I was just kind of just you know playing around with you know, whether I wanted his mouth to be open or not, but uh, we'll see what I end up with, regardless. I decided to close it. Uh, the mouth was a, bit, a little bit too small, so kind of widen that a bit. Putting in the symbols. Symbols, you know, that in this case the character Caesar has it, right? And he has it for good reason. But uh, it's not, it's not, this is not a, comp oh, it's not always a compulsory thing, but for sure it always helps uh, readers identify who the character is. And it, it, it's, you also know you've done a, a good job if you readers can, ask, can still identify the character without any of these. Uh, scars or symbols or things like that if the character is recognizable uh, and consistent without them then you're on the right track because really it's all about defining your style and knowing where things go remembering things here and there remembering the iconography of the character being able to draw the you know the choices you've made being able to recreate them over and over again um, and that's during the phase where you're defining your style probably before you even start uh, creating a comic or you know doing an animation or anything like that especially if it's a one-man job usually I believe uh, animators if they're animating a series that maybe they you know they, they had nothing to do with the creation of it and they're just animators they kinda have to I imagine go through a phase where they're learning the style and uh, you're learning the style is kind of similar to, you know, defining it because, um, at least defining it for yourself because every animator on that team will need to be able to draw the same character the same way. 
So it's almost like you know everybody's on the same so it's, they they do it that way so everyone's on the same page and the animation looks consistent throughout so everybody learning the iconography and learning all these little things even though it's not their style but that learning that learning that new style so defining your style is also about learning your style and being comfortable with it so here that's the same ear you know but we really you know we've learned to draw the ear from a different angle that's really all it is. I'm drawing a female, the lines are much thicker. Just make it look a whole lot more um, feminine, unless the female character is not supposed to look feminine at all. So here, you know, going in with those strokes to just zoom as it's a character of color. And that's that, and then you can add the little his clothing. Again, it's about thinking of everything in layers, understanding your style, remembering remembering the iconography of the character, uh, and you know having a developed and defined style prior to trying this is always more effective that way. So even the shape of his head is also learning, you know, understanding what shape you've chosen, and being able to recreate that sh that head shape from different angles. So remembering the shape of the head, uh, shape of head, you know, maybe the eye type, but really nose type, mouth type. So it's more about facial features, uh, the facial features, you know, the type of it, you know, understanding how to draw it in all, all angles. So that's like defining, having a defined style and the developed style, all in your style. Uh, think of like the scars, marks or signs on his face or body or things like that the iconography of the whole character, the clothing. So another example would be the red jacket from Dante, or the white hair from Dante, teeth. In this case, uh, uh, Caesar's teeth, his hat, skin tone, ethnicity. And uh, if this was in color, uh, color again is, is uh, something to keep, keep in mind. Um, and yeah, this is a Shokan Caesar, is the Sun Prince. And he's a really prominent character in Apple Black Volume 2, which will be out in, uh, in the fall. Uh, still need to work and get everything I need to do you know all done and finished so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope this video helped you uh, learn to draw the same character over and over again uh, just applying uh, the same principles to whatever work you're doing whether it's a comic or an animation and yeah if you like this video please actually like this video um, I really I really appreciate it and it will help me create similar videos you know more often I have more videos coming soon and you can check out Apple Black the first four chapters of Apple Black are free on Saturday AM I'll leave links to where you can check that out Apple Black volume 1 is available with uh, chapters 1 to 9 uh, y'all can check that out links in this box section below you can check out Saturday AM itself with all the other comics on there uh, all the other promising talent uh, artists are on the roster so uh, you can check that out uh, again like this video leave a comment if you have any questions and subscribe for more. Uh, subscribe if you like this video and you like my videos in general. Uh, it's been swell, guys. Uh, this is White Manga, and I'm outie.